What is NFT Mall, its benefits, and the way it envisions bringing NFT to the masses? MD Rakib Ahmed, CEO and founder, NFT Mall. Hello, folks. Uh, I'm MD Rakib Ahmed, CEO and founder of NFT Mall. Uh, it's a great privilege to be here, and I'm really honored and grateful. Uh, a little intro about myself that would be interesting, I guess. So I'm a business graduate. My experience uh, is in economics, uh, in business management, and administration. I'm also uh, a blockchain and cryptocurrency enthusiast, and highly passionate about blockchain and technology, and a dedicated supporter. I have been an investor, advisor, or marketing, uh, you know, advisor and marketing director of blockchain projects previously. Uh, at this point, I would like to uh, shed some light on my team members as well. So my team consists of around 14 different talented individuals who are very hardworking, among, among which only, uh, like only four of them, we are the core members, and the remaining are the developers and the engineers. Rakib, do you think you can go on with our presentation, just telling us? Uh... Uh, yeah, uh, all right. I think I should continue. I, I don't know what's going on here now. Uh, I just turned on the... Permission uh, to understand. So. It's okay. I think we will catch up with it's no worries. You just yeah, explain so, that to us in words. Yeah, sure. So uh, uh, I would like to give you the you know a uh, little shade on my team members as well. Uh, so uh, uh, as I mentioned, I'm the founder and CEO. I have uh, Mr. Edward Maria, his uh, CTO. A little uh, uh, you know uh, background of him. Uh, He's been an international guy. He's been living on a, you know, different places. Uh, he's been living in the States, Latin America, Europe. And he's been a uh, uh, CEO and CTO previously for, for so many multinational corporations. And one of them called Clover Technology, which has, you know, revenue over 1.3 uh, billion. Also, he's been a, uh, 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 he's been a CFO uh, of one of those, uh, actually he has been a CTO for one of those, uh, a company called MindGym, 14 million based in London. He also owns a company called, uh, yes, y -E -Y -S, and uh, it's a software company. Uh, he's been advisor previously for few blockchain projects, including Focal Locker, you know, Pair, uh, Pair Tech, Orient Protocol, and Alliance Block. And then I have uh, Mr. Stephen Nissen, who is a CFO. Uh, he has been a funding member for, you know, uh, Linda Cohen uh, or Matrix Cohen. Uh, he's been into the space since 2016. He has he's well experienced and, uh, you know, well organized and, uh, uh, you know, uh, good at developing marketing strategy. And uh, he also has he also possesses a great passion for blockchain and uh, a great speaker as well. Next, I have uh, Mr. Galen McBride, who is the Chief Operating Officer. So uh, he has he is a, he has extensive uh, experience uh, uh, in the industry, cryptocurrency industry, regarding marketing field, and he's been he's been also a founding member of Linda Coin. Uh, uh, it's basically a wager based gaming platform, uh, and uh, he he he's good at developing brands uh, and uh, you know content creation, marketing, uh, and building relationship with the project, etc. Et uh, so, uh, before we get into the NFT or what actually uh, what NFT mall is all about and its ecosystem, I think uh, it's certainly not worthy not to touch or uh, or mention about the recent boom in digital items market and its recent traction as well. Uh, it's been recently getting an adoption from the mainstream uh, institutional and retail investors. So. Uh, NFTs are non-fungible token, uh, you know, uh, they're uh, cryptographic assets that is built on a blockchain network. This NFT obtains a unique cryptographic code or key, which makes it completely different from another. So just to give you, uh, just to give you a little, you know, uh, outlook or overview of current digital items or market, uh, and its, uh, its possibility and potential growth, of course, the opportunity comes along. I would like to mention some statistics according to a new study released by nonfungible.com. So they say uh, the NFT market size tripled in 2020, 
with the total value of transaction increased by 299% year on year to more than 250 million, uh, which is still a very tiny aspect of its growth potential considering over trillion dollar market cap of current crypto industry, uh, over 1.5 trillion actually. Uh, the report, which you know, uses uh, like uh, proprietary technology to track activities in the NFT market, also found that the total value of all NFT transactions, which includes sales and all other transactions such as breeding, minting, and renting, increased from 62 million to 250 million in year 2019 and 2020, respectively. Also, uh, nonfungible.com found that the market activity has increased significantly. The total number of active wallets uh, transacting NFTs, including buying and selling or holding or using them in a blockchain adoption, has skyrocketed and grown, uh, uh, grown actually 90, over 97% from uh, 112,000 to 222,000 in year 2019 and 20, respectively. Similarly, uh, also, the number of buyers and sellers uh, rose from uh, 44,000 to 74,000, which is about uh, 56 percent, and 25,000 to 31,000, which is uh, about 24,000 plus, uh, respectively, as well. So these are the number of buyer and seller rose from uh, 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 in uh, a year, like about 56 percent, and uh, around 24 percent on a year 2020. So uh, the 2019 was uh, rose around uh, 66 and. Uh, the number of active wallets uh, also accelerated throughout 2020, uh, suggesting even a stronger growth ahead in 2021. Uh, quarter four total growth of uh, uh, of uh, was twice actually of quarter three and three times of the quarter two uh, around this time. So NFT traders uh, also has seen uh, and experienced an unprecedented uh, financial performance. So far, uh, regarding their profits, some of them, uh, you know, uh, earn a single year range from 500,000 to 100,000 for some traders. Uh, and uh, due to the NFT ready market and the big names and increasingly in, uh, are entering into the state, and it, 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 it's getting more imminent that uh, more adoption of NFT as in uh, NFTs and as in blockchain as a technology is coming uh, across more imminent way and become uh, becoming more visible into the mainstream audience that uh, it can be used and utilized in so many uh, respects of our digital life as well. So, uh, 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 creating lucrative uh, NFT-based consumer goods and services, uh, one of the main uh, uh, motto of these uh, big names and the retail mainstream retail investors. Uh, and you know already we have we already have uh, current players, uh, big uh, current uh, uh, players and the fashion brands and the luxury brands. I can name two like Nike, Vitono, and uh, Brooklyn. They are creating the virtual fashion products. Export brands like uh, Tana Sports, NDA, F1, PSG, uh, and as well as like entertainment brands uh, like BBC or Warner Music or Paramount, creating online collectibles and games. Video game studios like Ubisoft and Atari also creating virtual worlds, uh, games and tokens, and tech companies like IBM, AMD, and Samsung creating new uh, services and utilities. So the you know the exponential uh, growth of the NFT market uh, in 2020 has been a, a remarkable one so far, and uh, I, I mean just uh, mentioning that. Uh, uh, not forget to mention here that we are still in very uh, uh, premature stage, and uh, there is lot a lot of uh, room to grow. Uh, and uh, and saying that the NFT ecosystem is no longer a speculative industry; it's a value creation industry now. You know, reaching a newfound maturity. Uh, there is different utilities growth, uh, but saying that we are still in very very early and. Uh, uh, developing days uh, with many new ideas and there is so many different projects working around and coming across, launching their ideas uh, and launching their products. Uh, so, uh, you know, considering all of uh, 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 the immense future possibility and the potential of NFTs, 
or the digital assets uh, in general uh, and um, uh, the, the problems uh, or the limitations of the current NFT marketplaces has uh, we try to combine uh, the power of DeFi with uh, NFT and introduce the world, uh, the NFT model, the next generation of native and decentralized multi-chain operational and monthly standard support uh, marketplace, your one-to-one, -one, uh, one-stop shop for NFTs and uh, any digital goods or items per se. And uh, we have, so the current, so the current uh, limitations of the current uh, marketplaces, like uh, during uh, and and the current uh, traditional art galleries, uh, what I uh, what I saw on, in my research when I was uh, uh, writing the white paper. So it came across like that. Like uh, I find it out uh, the current traditional uh, art in uh, art galleries has has different limitations. Uh, Starting from uh, it's, it's, uh, uh, the very entry is quite uh, high in terms of uh, you know uh, start from uh, uh, you know like you have to first uh, physically produce a piece of artwork then you have to go and accept it uh, by a gallery and then you have to promote it in the exhibition in order to sell it and if you succeed to sell it that's the time. Uh, I mean, you are actually getting paid for that artwork, and also uh, don't forget there is a uh, use commission for those traditional art galleries as well, and which includes such a complex procedure, and and uh, also implies a huge barrier of entry, which also hinders the creativity and the young talent to get in, you know, uh, to uh, explore and create, and uh, you know, get into the uh, get into the uh, you know the NFT or like a digital artwork industry. Or traditional art industries, and also they seek for the mass needed exposure as well, which they actually lack uh, through our, our traditional art galleries. Uh, so, uh, I mean, using blockchain technology to synergize DeFi and NFTs, this problem can be solved uh, and overcome, right? And it's already been uh, uh, in place. There has been few uh, marketplaces we already uh, seen in the market who is doing great job. And there is still a lot of room to grow, and they did, uh, uh, and uh, they they simplified the process in some sort. But uh, we still see there is a lot of uh, uh, problems uh, has to be identified and solved. And uh, in order to make it a simplified and you know uh, an easy access, also included the uh, included the uh, message into the uh, 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 NFT world. So. Uh, uh, through through blockchain, through the blockchain uh, uh, technology, it, uh, an artist can be afforded to you know create uh, uh, create a uh, the artist or the creator alike can afford to create an armed royalty in perpetuity, and thus also can create a level playing field for talented individuals. And since it's a very new concept and and, and for the market and the digital uh, items uh, to create with. And uh, uh, you know the both existing and uh, uh, marketplaces, including top tier or uh, uh, you know both centralized or decentralized marketplaces, they doesn't truly really satisfy the need of its users uh, at present, and doesn't solve the issue by having high platform fees to mint or lease or even for primary or secondary sale. Uh, also, royalty fees for creator is not independent. And usually choose by third party, uh, which I believe uh, uh, that power should be, uh, you know, uh, handed back to the original creator of the artist. And uh, some of them are not. Uh... Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Ricky. I, I thought you were just uh, wrapping up. Uh, our time is a bit tight uh, for the keynote oh, speech. Okay. Yeah, oh, I just oh, you're a bit running oh, out of time. I'm sorry. All right, I'm trying to I'm trying to keep it uh, uh, as much as I can. Just trying to hit the blue point now. I thought it's 15 yeah. minutes. Sorry, <laughs> my bad. No problem. Uh, uh, yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I, okay, sure. are you finished? Yeah.
<laughs> yeah. Okay. So uh, our vision. Uh, I'm just going to state into you know what NFT Mall is simplifying is benefit and advantage advantages we are creating. I'm just going to uh, hit into that. And uh, so uh, our vision is to create a level playing field for the you know traditional and niche digital item artists, uh, creating a universal platform and a common ground. Uh, uh, for everyone, for all potential talent all around the world, they can, uh, you know, showcase their work and uh, uh, with a very cost-effective and authenticated manner, and get treated fairly. And uh, the platform, our platform, also bridges the gap between the decentralized and real world, while allowing the real world use cases for NFTs, like uh, people can, uh, it, uh, uh, you yeah. know, redeem redeem physical NF NFTs through our platform. And, uh, and physical objects like clothing, printed canvas, collectible cards, etc. Thank you uh, so much, Mr. Yeah, I'm, I'm really sorry we're running out of time. We, uh, we have our next speaker waiting in the room. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much, Mr. Akib. Uh, I hope great times uh, waiting for NFT Mall ahead. And thank you for right, giving us. Can I can I can I can I just show my physical NFT for one moment? That's there, right? Yeah. Just kept it. I feel it. It's just okay. one minute, right? Yeah. All right. So uh, this is the canvases. You can redeem your uh, NFTs into into physical redeemable objects like these canvases, which can be verified Lovely. through the app. And we already uh, we are on the verge of launching our Android and uh, Apple Store app, but I already got it uh, uh, loaded here. Just wanted to show you guys. I'm sorry. What is so, going on? Yeah, so this is the NFT mall app. This is how you verify. You go there, you get. The we don't see it from here because it's uh, it's uh, really really blurry. But okay, so this is the app. So you, you got the idea, right? So yeah. you have to open the app and then you have to scan it like that. And it, it gives you the whole information. Hi. Unfortunately, the, the image is so bad. Unfortunately, we cannot see anything really. Uh, uh, if you could drop us the link uh, to the picture that you want to show, we'll send it directly to our Telegram group. We'll send it to uh, the uh, comments that we have uh, just below our YouTube screen because it's just like we are wasting our time and we don't have it at all. Okay, can we do like that? Uh, yes, yeah, sure. Sorry about it. And um, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much. For your thank time. you very thank much. You. Thank, like you. To... thank you. Great. Thank you.